All right, so as mentioned in my previous live appearance here on Instagram, I was about to clock all my interfaces, which at this point are four. So we have the Dangerous AD Plus, which is my mastering converter. We have the Audio Fuse 8 Pre, which is my third interface. Then we have the Motu, which is my main interface, and the expansion, the 16A, for a total of 32 analog channels. But with digital, there's a lot more. It's like 1A, 128 and everything. Anyway, I was about to clock all these interfaces because when you, when you have multiple interfaces, you definitely need to clock them. The clock is basically what synchronize all the interfaces together. One of them needs to be the master and all the others are gonna be slaves. So what do you need? First of all, let's see the connection. Let's go back. This is the word clock connection. And it's a BNC cable. BNC cable, 70, uh, 75 ohm. Every unit will have a BNC word clock in and a word clock out. So what do you need? You need as many cables, first of all, as unit you have. In this case, I have four. Your master clock is gonna be the best unit. In this case, it's easy. The Dangerous is a mastering converter dedicated, so this is gonna be my master. So the work clock starts here. We plug the first cable into work clock out. And with this one, we go into the first interface, this. But as you can see there, you need to go from the master to the first slave and then to the second slave, which is in my case is that one at the top. To do that connection, you need these. These are T-shaped BNC connectors. So one cable comes here and one cable comes uh, out of here. And this part you connect to the interface, to the first slave. And you see that there, all right? So the bottom cable comes from the master and the top cable goes right there behind the desk into that one. Behind, on the back of this unit, there's another of this, of these, okay, that is connected behind it. One cable come here, one cable come out from there, and it goes right there. Right there, you put another one of these. Because that's the last unit, in here, you don't need another cable, but you need a termination connector, which looks like this. Okay. Mine is arriving. It's not here yet, but that will go at the end of the last T connector that you have, which is plugged into the last unit that you need to clock this way. My 80 plus dangerous will be the master clock for all the audio interfaces and they will be perfectly synced. Is it necessary when you have multiple interfaces to clock them? Absolutely yes. Is uh, necessary to have an external clock that is not one of your units? Not at all. Actually this one being a high-end mastering converter has probably one of the best clock available in the market anyway so this is it. I will do a video on the connection uh, and the integration of the AD Plus into my system, which thanks to the Motu Matrix is not just easy, but we went around the 32 tracks limit on Pro Tools, and that was pretty amazing. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a mess, and I would have had to use another computer to print my mixes, which I really didn't want to do. This way, not only I don't need that, but I can literally use the same insert, hardware insert, input and output, as I was doing before. And with the Motu Matrix, instead of once I ran my mix into my two bus gear, instead of going back into the same inputs that I come out uh, from, which Pro Tools requires that, we were able to say, fuck you Pro Tools, and go into the AD 
analog with the outboard and then exit digital and use the same insert tricking Pro Tools into thinking, oh, he's coming back into seven and eight, just like he exit, he went out in seven and eight. But no, those seven and eight, thanks to Motu, are now connected to the first pair of another bank of channels and it's digital. So not just going out from a pair and coming in into another pair, but going out from analog and coming back in digital using the same insert. You Pro Tools users will understand me and will go like, what? So I'll show you that. Anyway, this is it. See you soon.